<laughs> that was it. Oh my god, <laughs> that is crazy. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Thank you to all my patrons, specifically the shout out members and the higher tiers. Today's suggestion again has been done by my suggestion 3 member Melissa Higgins, so thank you very much for the suggestion. This is her first suggestion for the month of April, so on Patreon I will post this during the month of April. And on YouTube I will post this during the month of May probably, so you guys will see that by then. Her first suggestion, home free, no surprise there. But specifically, this is going to be a mashup between two songs, Fishing in the Dark and Boondocks. Let me just read what she told me uh, as an explanation here. So, hi Yuri, this is my first request for April, Fishing in the Dark slash Boondocks mashup, both regular video and the live comparison. So I'm going to do both the music video and the live comparison. This is a somewhat animated music video and might be hard to imagine how it would be performed live. The song is a mashup between the two different songs, Down in the Boondocks and Fishing in the Dark. Uh, and Down in the Boondocks is by Billy Joe Royal, and Fishing in the Dark is by Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. I don't know if I know other songs of these bands, so the music video is produced by Fitgen Films, uh, who is owned by Riley and Mackenzie Zamber. Apparently those are the Hound and the Fox that we've seen before. As for the live video, another epic bass that is solo. Your chairs vibrate when you hear it live and plasters has been known to fall onto people's heads. That's crazy. And uh, I mean... Better check your roof if that's the case. That's not a good sign. Uh, and this low bass is much more noticeable in the live performance video. This song is almost always included in basing, uh, basing or compilation slash comparisons videos because Tim goes to B0. That's insane. Uh, in two spots. So one of his deepest note recording recorded songs. Also, this song has been used as their opening number uh, at their concerts for well over seven years. So that says something. That's, yeah. How many bands do like the same song as an intro song for their concerts? Like seven years straight. I don't know. The arrangement and song mashup idea was done by Chris Rubb. Uh, so the brother of Adam. So it has been a couple of years old, apparently, then. And the other guys added bits to it afterwards as well. I have seen Austin say in an interview that this was the hardest slash most difficult and compl complicated arrangement they have ever done. Boondocks apparently has a, a different meaning. Um, many outside the US apparently don't know the term or what it means. It's an American expression from the Tagalog slash Filipino language uh, word. Bundok, which means mountain, apparently. It refers to a remote rural area, and sometimes it is used to denote an area seen as unsophisticated by city folks. So that's what we got as information from the videos. Let's check both of them out. A little over four minutes for each video. So let's check out the music video first, and then afterwards the live video, which is not on Home Free's uh, channel themselves, but... Doesn't matter. All right, let's check out the music video first. Here we go. I feel no shame. I'm proud of where I came from. I was born and raised in the boom. Okay, that was cool. So we started off with an octave or even a, a, a double octave. Uh, Tim doing the bass, definitely. But now Rob came in with a second voice in between there. Uh, Lazy yellow moon coming up tonight, shining through the trees. Definitely some country vibes here. The birds are floating on a breeze. They I, I didn't know what, if she meant animated video. I thought it would be something totally different. Not even the members of Home Free that we were about to see. But it's actually just them with an animated effect on it. So, all right, that's cool. Crickets are singing and the lightning birds are floating on a breeze. Baby, get ready. The field where the creek turns back by the old stump road. I'm gonna take you to a special place that nobody knows. Baby, get ready. You, oh, you and me going fishing in the dark. Light on our backs and counting right. stars where the 
Definitely sounds a lot. I have a lot of country vibes here. Yes. Nice effect. nice effect on the vocal line in the background there. I thought, I think it was Austin, but I'm not sure. More like some kind of radio effect on it. Not really a radio effect, but... What is he drinking, Tim? Man, that's a gallon. I mean, it seems like it. Wow. <laughs> it's not really... Is it a, a gallon? I don't know. The stars where the cool grass Man. Listen to that bass that we just heard. Here. Austin's hair in the wind. It is hard to hear right now, but I'm I think there's a super low bass going on in the background. I think below here. Oh, that's rumbling. Is that Austin doing that sound? It's actually a sound that would I, that I would expect from Chance, but Chance was not yet part of the group back then. So we have Chris Rupp here. It's a really cool arrangement. And they, they use they make great use of um, of like stereo. Because I hear Chris Rupp right over here. I hear Rob right over there on the right side. I hear it. <laughs> Was Tim like combing his hair with like a... How, would you, how, how do you call this in English? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Man, okay. So I think indeed that was the low note. By the way, Austin's hair reminds me a bit of my hair right now. If it if it's like not tied together. Fishing in the dark slash down the boondocks mashup. We had a great time filming this with Fifth Gen. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, please, if you're watching this now, that means we're probably on tour. So check us out. We're somewhere near you right now. Come and see us. And if you haven't done so, check us out on Patreon. We got some cool stuff going on. Absolutely. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. Bye. All right. Good. Looks like a cool song too here. A couple of collaborations here. All right. Good.
So when is this po- eight years ago? How long has Patreon been been a thing? I don't know. I've just heard about that like I don't know, not too long ago, like maybe a couple of years, but not eight years. Wow. Okay, so let's check out the live version here. Let's check it out. Here we go. A lot of audience, audience sound. Already. Hey, Austin. Oh, here it is with Chance. So it is, this is, oh, this is six years ago. Oh, I didn't know. Is Chance already six years been with Home Free? Wow. I guess I, I learn every day. Wow. I didn't realize it was that long. A little bit of growl there. By the way, <laughs> I don't know the songs, by the way. Ooh, Adam. Damn. Step touch. Oh, look at that! Was one of the notes I think with Tim. Man. That was it. Oh my god, <laughs> that is crazy. And how how is it that the effect live is greater than the pre-recorded version cuz like sometimes when people are not really uh fully in control with bass singing when they record it, they can put extra effect on it. But here we see that I mean, it's kind of reduced when it's pre-recorded with Tim. Oh. He keeps going. Yeah. I had a feeling Chance would do the parts of Chris Rep. Oh, 
Oh my god, strobe lights. Unreal. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And you're right, Melissa. These couple of notes that Tim just brings live are so much more noticeable. But how crazy it that he is it that he can make it that loud, that loud and so rumbly live. That is unbelievable. Wow. Definitely one of the most insane notes I've ever heard. Wow. Guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this reaction to this one from Home Free. Uh, man, that was crazy. Guys, well, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video if you enjoyed my reaction to this one. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other reactions to Home Free, other musicians, bands, singers, and such. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.